So just encourage you again, just to close your eyes, just begin to picture Jesus, to think about him, fix our eyes on him. Just remember that he has gone into heaven before us to create a way for us to follow him, that he has opened heaven and we can walk up the steps in through the open door that is through his flesh available and open to us. So let's just step through that doorway. Jesus is welching there to welcome us. He wants to take us by the hand and he's going to take us through the cross and through the dimension of the kingdom where the laver is, that mirror of the word that we can look into his word, look into who we are and see reflected back how he sees us, what the word says about us. I would just encourage you to look into the mirror of the living word and just see what's reflected back the image that's revealed there of who you are as a child of God as one with calling and destiny just see what's reflected back to you we look into that laver, that bronze laver with mirror surface Uh, Jesus again just takes us further brings us through the realm of his presence, brings us through, through the different realms of the kingdom of God to come around the ark of his presence. Through the veil of the life where the reflection of the light of his presence begins to manifest as we align ourselves with the four faces of God, the yod and the he, and the vav and the he, the yod and he, and vav and he, yod, he, vav, he, yod, he, vav, Hey, the lion, the ox, the eagle, and the man, the lion, the ox, the eagle, and the man, just sense and be drawn into alignment. increase in the light of his presence, the reflection of his glory. And I can see stones, jewels that he wants to release to you today. As in the book of Revelation, there's a new stone that has a new name, a name of alignment with heaven that he wants to release to you today. Just receive that stone from him. It's part of the breastplate of righteousness that you have this stone set in your breastplate to reflect the color
Just receive those stones. Let the reflection and the vibrating frequency of those stones begin to draw you into resonance with him and alignment with him. Just let the revelation of that touch your spirit. That Jesus would take us by the hand and lead us through another doorway into the record room. And he will draw you to a scroll that resonates with the colors and the stones that you've been given. Just let him draw you. Just sense as he reveals something of that scroll to you. Just begin to sense and feel it vibrate. Feel the light absorbed into that stone and released from that stone as you begin to fulfill and outwork your identity and who you really are. Right through this engagement, I sense that Jesus has been showing you something deeper about how he sees you, how he feels about you, what he's written about you. He's drawing you deeper into alignment with that. But this scroll and the stones are part of that process. Now he places the scroll into your hand and he takes you through another doorway and he's taking you into the court of angels. And you come and stand with him in the presence of the multitudes of angels to present that scroll to release the color will draw the angels to you, to your mission, to your assignment, to your identity. The legions of angels are being assigned as you present your scroll. There's a sense of joy and exaltation amongst the angelic host to be involved with your life, with your destiny. There's an excitement as they gather around your scroll.
Now he would have us take the doorway back through to the garden of our own heart and to begin to take that experience, the deep things in our spirit and loose them within our heart to be free within our garden to release the creativity to take what we resonate with from that experience and plant it beside the river of life to water it to command growth to see fruitfulness at work and just begin to take the fruit of our experiences to our secret place our place of intimacy with him and just begin to share with him those things that are are on your heart that have been stirred some things you may not understand begin to ask him for wisdom, for clarification, for revelation within your secret place. Now uh, we can just step back into this realm, carrying with us that record within our hearts. 